but some of the questions I get is, will the Rottweilers turn on you? Now that's a very, 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 um, that topic there is very controversial. Will they turn on you? Now I've had Rocky and Apollo y'all for five years. These dogs are five years old now. And I've seen them fight each other. I've seen them fight other dogs. I've seen them kill squirrels back here. I've seen them kill turtles back here. I've seen them kill raccoons back here. But never once have they growled at me or my wife. Never once have they bit down on my hand. Never once have they snapped at me. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you because you know I like to keep it real because I'm not a breeder. I'm not a trainer, so I don't have to lie to you. I can keep it real with you. I don't know what they're capable of, and I never let my guard down because they are animals, and they're just like humans. If you get fed up and you get upset, you're going to snap. There's times that I get upset, and well, not pretty much now because... You know, I've been living a peaceful life lately, but you know how you get upset with someone, you might snap at them or you might let them know that you're displeased with them. They could do that to me one day. But as of right now, October 2024, they haven't ever snapped at me. They've never bit my hand. They've never done anything to make me really want to beat them or punch them or kick them. I never kicked them. I never punched them. But I do let them know that I'm in charge. Once I let them think they can run me over, then it's going to be time for me to get rid of them because they're going to push it to the limit. And as you can see, they play rough with each other. And this is just a nest. They're just like two brothers, two, any brothers going to play with each other. We used to play rough like this with me and my cousins. And as you see, when they get tired, they know the deal to chill out. And yes, they are brothers from the same litter. They've grown up together here. They've eaten together every day, played together every day. They've been together every day. They've never been separated. They've never been separated. Let me see how good my recall is. Apollo, come here. I'm going to say 10 times out of 10, if I call them, they'll come to me. I say 10 times out of 10, they'll come. Now, if there's a distraction, I'm not sure if they'll come to me, if there's a distraction. But for the most part, they do come when I call them. And then I can tell them, Apollo, go. Go. They know to go find something to do. If I tell them to go, they know, okay, he don't want to be bothered with us today. So, like I say, y'all, I'm not a breeder. I'm not a trainer. But, you know, I have have I have spent a lot of time with these two Rottweilers right here. I've had, I've kept other people's pets for them while they went out of town. And I'm going to keep it real with you. I love Rottweilers. I've never been a dog person. I've never owned a dog in my life until I got these dogs right here. So I was 42 years old when I got into the dog game, when I started dealing with dogs. 42 years old. I've never had a dog until I was 42 years old when I got these two. And when I tell you it was a life-changing moment, I never understood why people love their dogs so much, why people spend so much money on their dogs, why people be so hurt when their dogs pass away. But now I understand. You will get attached to them. I promise you, it's just like having them as a family member. And I encourage anyone, if you're thinking about getting a pet, get you one from a reputable breeder. Get you a dog with that comes from a family of good background as far as their health. And I'm going to tell you the truth. It will change your life. Now, it can either be a blessing or a stressing. 
the dog is either gonna bless you or stress you because it is a lot of work into it. That's why you have to be sure whenever you decide to get a pet, you need to be sure that it's what you wanna do. Go, go. You gotta be sure that it's what you wanna do. You gotta be sure that you got the time. And a lot of people don't wanna say it, but you gotta be sure you have the finances because if your dog is sick, or injured, you're going to have to take them to the vet. Also, feeding them every day, you got to think. They have to eat every day. Let's go. Get in there. They have to eat every day. Every day they're going to have to eat. Every day they're going to have to poop. Every day they're going to want some attention. They're going to need some attention every day. So I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to keep it real with you. Think about it before you buy. That's the best advice I can give you if you don't have a dog yet. Especially a larger breed dog, like a Rottweiler or a pit bull or something. Most of the time, they're out in the yard. They can run around. They can be free because we have chain link all the way around. And we've just recently added the electric wire to the total outside of the fence. It took a while, but we finally got it working right. And as you can see, you now they come over here and eat when they want to eat. They come over here and eat when they want to eat. I don't have them on a special schedule. And like I told you, I'm not a breeder or a trainer, so there's nothing fancy over here. There's no scheduled time when they can eat. There's no scheduled time when they can't eat. If they get hungry, they know to come over here. This is the child line. See, I, I can still grab them by the mouth, put my hand in the mouth. I've done that since they were, since they were, since they were three months old, two months old, three months old when I first got them. I always mess with their mouth. They know not to bite my hand. Now, I won't try them while they're eating. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. They really don't have no food aggression because they get plenty of food. Smile for them. Smile. Apollo. Smile for them. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to the channel so you can see the next video that comes out. But drop down in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Peace.